In this video, I'm going to show you how I set goals as a NASA engineer and how this goal setting system actually got me a NASA job in the first place, helped me start a business, helped me grow a YouTube channel. If you just watch this video and implement what I'm about to teach you, I promise you'll get really good results for the year upcoming. Not only be able to set goals that you care about, but actually be able to build the systems to stick with them and not just do the typical thing where people set goals in January and then they fall off. If you're here for the first time, my name is Ali. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab. I'm also a systems engineer for the Astros Balloon Born Telescope. Now this system is very engineering centric. It's very efficient, direct, straight to the point. So let me just go ahead and show you what it's about. Now, as you can see over here, what I have in this picture is I have uh, light coming in, or you can think of this as energy, and I have three lenses. So I have the first lens here, and I have this second lens, and I have a double lens, and then I have the goal that you're trying to achieve. Um, and you have there's a distance between the second and third lens and then between the third lens and the goal now what does all of this mean i'm going to explain it in a bit i promise it's going to be very very simple uh, and there's even a document i have generated that i'm going to share it with you on how i break this down into more specific um uh, goals and then how i actually implement it day to day in my calendar but before we go ahead and talk about this system and how to actually set the goals um i first you want to figure out what goals you have right and you, you want to ask yourself, what do I want? What, what do I even want to achieve? Um, and there's a very simple way to do that. You can just basically grab a piece of paper and write on top of it, what do I want? And then I, what I would suggest is you go do this somewhere where you throw your phone like somewhere, but it doesn't have to be that complicated. You can do this right in your desk. You just have to figure out what do I want? And you can journal it through, you can sit down and just start writing stuff. If it's too overwhelming of a question, there are generally three categories where people have goals. It's either health, wealth, or relationships. Wealth really involves career. So if you have, you can, you can write, what do I want in a relationship? Or what do I want from my relationships? Uh, what do I want from my health? Do I want to lose weight? Do I want to gain muscle? Do I want to gain shape? What do I want for my career? Do I want an internship? Do I want a job? You want to get really crystal clear on what you want. And you don't want to be limited. You want to dream uh, as big as possible do not limit yourself try to be uh, not very realistic try to just kind of think about what you truly want once you actually know what you want then you basically can write that uh, at the top and everything begins there and that basically forms our third lens so over here we have this third lens and this over here where I have this document uh, over here for example um, and the way I break down my goals is I really do it by project and really I have three projects going on in my life. Uh, this is like my personal one. It doesn't really count because everything here, all the three goals here feed into this goal. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide this. Um, but the, 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 the idea behind the lenses is the very first lens over here is basically the goal. You sit down and ask yourself, what do I actually want out of life? Now, most people are usually quite good at this. Uh, you're, you've probably done this a million times. You've wrote down a goal, which is like, I want to get an internship or I want to get a job or I want to lose weight or um, I, I want to do all these things. That's not the reason why people don't uh, achieve the goal. Obviously, the, the problem lies in the systems and the implementation. And this is where the second and third lenses uh, come into place. What I have found to be very useful is that there's once you, you you have a goal let's say like the, the the there's a nasa mission i'm working on for example right now uh, and my goal is to help the telescope launch it's a balloon borne mission so it's gonna be launching to the stratosphere it's gonna hang out there for quite some time take some pictures of really cool faraway galaxies um, and my goal is to just launch the telescope that's basically the goal that i want to achieve basically if a successful mission is a success for me um now the second step after that is what I call the sequence. So that's the first lens, it's the goal. The second step is the sequence. And the sequence is what are all the steps needed to help you achieve the goal? So first I need to develop a system. Obviously the very last uh, step in any sequence is launching, for example, in this case, or, or achieving the goal, losing the weight, getting the internship, whatnot. But there are some steps along the way where you need to think sequentially. What are the steps I need to uh, take to get there? Now again, you've probably done this before. This is not where people uh, fall off. The real hard part and the, and the thing where people really get lost is the third lens. It's what I call third steps. And if you notice in this picture, like this, these two lenses are able to focus the energy and, and your energy in, in this case, is basically your thoughts, uh, your, your actions, your decisions, the things you do day to day, you want to focus them towards the goal as possible. But if you want to notice this distance E over here between the very last lens and the goal, this is where the energy really gets focused. This is where things actually start happening. And these are what I call first steps. These are the actual small actions day to day you need to do uh, to achieve the goal. So once I define the goal clearly, I figure out the sequence to get there. I write down very simple steps I need to do day to day. And it could be as simple as literally like crack open a document, 
write down things you don't understand, review a block diagram, prepare questions, blah, blah, blah. Now, here's where this ma the, the magic happens. Once I write down literally like the smallest things I need to do day to day, um, I have my Google Calendar and my Google Tasks set in a way where I basically um, take this, um, let's say crack open the Astros uh, yeah, ICD uh, document. I basically take that and then I paste it over here in my tasks. Uh, this is Google Tasks. It's basically an integration Then you can have it on Google Calendar. And once you have that, you can then like drag it and um, schedule it somewhere. I usually like to do this the night before. If you see over here on my calendar, every single night there's something called EV Darkroom WRS. Uh, this is just a fancy way of saying, EV is just what I call evening protocol. It's my evening routine. And my evening routine involves sitting down and, and, and figuring out the, the first steps for the next day. Uh, and the way I, and the reason I do that is because if you wake up and you don't have some tasks figured out, or at least like one thing you want to work on, uh, especially if you wake up and you grab your phone or go talk to someone, why not? Your whole day is gonna be lost. Uh, if you set like the list of things you want to achieve the night before, and then you wake up and you know exactly what needs to happen, uh, you, do, you don't need to do them in the exact order. So for example, let's say uh, it's 10.30 and I get distracted by something or someone pulls me into a meeting, I can just take it and drag it and, and, and no problem. But once I, I complete it, I can mark this as complete and then that is done and then I basically remove it from the first steps I need to, I need to get there. And I know that by taking this small step over here, um, I am closer to my goal. I am getting closer to my goal day after day and I just take these small steps day after day. I review this document every single day. So I take a look at this every single day, uh, usually at night, and I basically make sure that I have my first steps. I take them, I drag them on my Google Tasks. Now I'm gonna show you some of these examples. I'm gonna go ahead and read some of these out loud to you. Uh, usually the, the goals that I achieve, I also write in small text uh, the reason why I want to achieve the goal. I think that is very, very, very important. I'm gonna just go ahead and do and do this for, for all three of them. So my, my goal for my NASA job is to launch Astros into the stratosphere. Why? Uh, th there has to be reasons to do things. And there has to be reasons for us to set goals, let alone achieve them. In my case, I want to help Jose. Jose is my supervisor and other NASA engineers. Uh, I, I love people, I love humans, and I love helping humans. And, out of, and, and the coolest thing out of this entire mission is that I get to be part of a team. And I think what would make me truly happy is seeing the other engineers on my team uh, especially, for example, in this case, Jose, who's leading the mission, uh, be happy and relieved that the mission is a success. I think that's something that would make me uh, very happy and enhance it, motivates me a lot. But I have other motivators as well. I want to be a successful uh, part of a successful NASA mission. Uh, it's a really cool thing to experience. Uh, I'm very motivated by cool things. Uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's a bit silly, but it is what it is. Uh, I want to be useful to NASA and, I, and, and, and having a successful mission on my belt uh, especially since I'm only 27 years old, uh, will really give me the confidence and help me uh, with, with my career. Uh, now, next level, in this case, uh, this is a um, company. It's a consulting business and education business I have built on, on the side part-time. And the goal of the business is, again, simple. The, the, the goal is to teach humans to critically think, solve problems, and make better decisions. Uh, and I do that usually by building systems and algorithms to help people make better decisions and things of that nature. I'm starting out with entrepreneurs, business owners, since they are people that are most obsessed about systems and processes and they can have like uh, direct measurable uh, results that increase. Uh, and again, I, I write down my reasons because sometimes I forget, sometimes I look at this and I say, why do I care about teaching humans to correctly think? Why, why do I care about these things? Uh, and then it, it helps to revisit and read this and say, okay, I'm insanely talented at problem solving and communication. The combination of these two skills make the basis for helping other humans adopt decision-making algorithms and systems and improve their lives as well. Uh, this, is the, this, this is the biggest contrib contribution I can give to humanity. Help every human make better decisions and think more critically. Uh, getting rich is only a byproduct. Uh, I don't really care about the money that much. And when I, when I read this every night before I go to sleep and then I, I go look at the sequence I have for my second lens and then I go and take a look at all the things I need to do, um, it, it, it makes achieving the goal so much easier because I'm, I'm constantly laser focused on what am I trying to do, why I'm trying to do it, and at which step in the process I am. Uh, now, I would actually strongly recommend that you don't have multiple goals at once. Ideally, set one goal at once. I've been doing this for quite some time and I do, do like doing things in parallel, so in my case, it works fine. However, big disclaimer, I would strongly recommend starting out with only one goal uh, like in this case, for example, let's say you only want, so let's say for my YouTube channel, I mean, you're watching this as part of my YouTube channel right now. And again, what is the goal of the channel? If you're, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or if you're start thinking about starting anything of that sort, 
uh, sure, you can just get started, but if you actually want to keep going, you have to have a goal, and the goal has to be emotional, it has to matter to you. In this case, my goal with the channel and the Discord server and, and, and what follows is to inspire the next generation of engineers. And, and that's something that means a lot to me. Why? And again, I have, I have something that I, that I reread constantly. It's because engineering changed my life, allowed me to develop scientific way of thinking, make better decisions, be more useful to the world. And if we can increase the number of engineers, we increase the numbers, the number of builders and problem solvers in the world, which will make humanity much better. Um, and this is something I genuinely believe in. And I mean, my channel is, is very small right now. I think it's only 24,000 uh, subscribers, which is amazing, by the way. If, you're, if, if you've been subscribed, if you've left comments before, if you've liked the channel, if you've joined our Discord server, uh, thank you so much. Like, that's just amazing because like, you make me very happy because when I see people actually watching these videos, uh, make use of them, uh, especially when I see it uh, improving them in their careers and, and whatnot. Uh, it, it makes me it makes me very, very, very happy. Uh, so if you're someone who has been watching the videos, you've been getting a lot of values, you're one of the OGs, uh, thank you so much. Uh, my plan is to keep posting, again, per the sequence. Uh, stick to uh, posting short form videos, uh, long form videos, ideally one per week, um, and then see where that takes me. And then again, like it's very simple. Once once I have the goal and, and the third lens with a second lens telling me the sequence, the third lens just becomes the things I need to do to get there. And in this case, <laughs> I have this record uh, video on how to set goals. And actually I would break this down into even smaller steps. I would I would break this down and say like grab phone, um, write outline, turn on phone, read outline out loud go ahead and actually record real video, um, make thumbnail. Ideally, you make the thumbnail before you make the video, but I'm not the traditional YouTuber. I do this very, very part-time. Uh, and then, I don't know, like uh, schedule, upload, and then post on Discord community for feedback. Um, and, 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 and then I would, I, would li I would literally grab these things right here, copy, paste them, and I would literally add them as a thing. And then sometimes I schedule them, sometimes I don't schedule them. Sometimes like I just wake up and I look at the things I need to do. But I know that these are the first steps I need to take to achieve my goal. So again, goal setting is quite simple. Um, you just set a goal and, and you, you ask yourself, what do I actually want? Where most people fall off is the second lens and the, and the third lens. Most people don't really get the chance to uh, figure out the sequence of how to actually get there. And once they do set a sequence, uh, they don't... Um, figure out the first steps that are necessary uh, to help them get there. So if you found this helpful or if you found it really confusing, um, <laughs> that's that's okay. I did only cover the focus aspect. I do have this document called Ali's Crazy World uh, where I have many other elements in it as long as identity, progress, money, role models, books, technical books, milestones, videos, and things of that nature. And there's one more, one last note I want to end with is when you're thinking of this three lens system, when you're visualizing how to set your goals, uh, you ideally want your D to be to be to be long and detailed, uh, but you, I, I ideally want E to be smaller. You want to be able to make very small first steps. You don't want the steps from the third lens to the goal to be like something that's very complicated, very intense. You want it to be something as simple as, oh, I need to record a YouTube video. One first step is grab phone. Second step is turn it on. Third step is sit down. Fourth step is write outline. Fifth step is read outline. Sixth step is press record. Seventh step is show video, like do it again. Like you want to make it as easy and accessible as possible because overwhelm really is the enemy and I don't want you to be overwhelmed. But anyway, with that being said, I am done. I wish you a very happy new year and I hope you go ahead and set some goals using this system and you can go ahead and crush it. Peace, love.